What? What you want? What you want? Get you some. Get you some. This is Russ is back. We're gonna take you on a journey. What's up, homie? Here we are. We're actually on a boat right now. And uh, the venue is a giant boat. So here we are. We just is, uh, kicking off the All Years All Night tour here in Bristol, UK. If we need to slow down tonight, Let's just do speak up. You speak up. What a you I didn't learn how you up. said what speed do up. We speed. Need if you need to, to slow, slow down, down tonight, tonight, just speed up. What? Try not to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. It's a vibe. Oh, guys, this is this is a fun fact. <clears throat> well, we walked by a record store today. No, somebody was somebody was just singing Fleetwood Mac. You, you walked were, by a record you store I'm today. I'm getting on too. That's what it was. All right, let me finish my bike, and I will get there. <laughs> we're all waiting. This record shop. <laughs> With patient breath. <laughs> breath. Did you say patient breath? With bated breath. You said patient breath. No, bated breath is a saying. I said with bated breath. Okay. I walked by a record, record shop today. Does this is rest every subtle arguments for you guys? I walk Probably. I walked walk by, by a record, record shop. Sorry, I can't of a this is the goals. This is the goals I'm trying to achieve. Yes, it's tell us. Life. I walked by a record shop and it had a permanent <laughs> sign in the window. Uh -huh. Like glued to the glued, glued to the window. Yeah. Glued. Glued. Super glued. Super glued. <laughs> and it said <laughs> Fleetwood Mac rumors in stock. Yes and no. Like it was like Whoa. It was like oh, okay. a Did changeable sign. That many people no. are looking that for is rumors. So cool. Yeah. That's wow. true. Congrats. That's classic, freaking Mac. Insane. It's and gonna be Russell. Like not Michael one day. Jackson Thriller. Yeah. Fleetwood not the Mac rumors. It's gonna be RD3 one day. I just got chills. Yeah. Russell Dickerson, self titled, in stock. RD3. Yes, no. Uh. Oh, you did it out there, though. Yeah, we, we, we just poke our head. It's so bad. It's so bad. What does it sound like? What's up? Is he. Just our kid playing with a seven thousand dollar camera. It's all good. Okay, sorry, nine. Twelve? How much did you pay for this thing? Three hundred dollars. Way off. This is uh, day five in the same jammies. Crushing the game. Honestly, I can't. I can't even throw shade because. You've been you don't even want to know day. what day all this is. Proof I don't have Botox. So I kind of stuck on the bus today doing interviews. So just sitting here with my coffee and my ambulance toy to pass the time. What do you want, dude? So anyways, speaking of day off, Kale's got to go to this Scottish freaking ocean side. My guy, I'm talking to the people here. She got to go to this beautiful Scottish seaside golf course while I worked. But you know what? She brought me a hat. I did. A cool hat. It goes with your pretty nose. In other news, those buses out there, uh, Coheed and Cambria and Thrice, Two of my favorite bands in high school were playing the same venue in the UK, same day. So catch me in the pit at Thrice. I'm not kidding. Catch me not there. Cash me out here. Rimdog's gonna F up the pit. Whoa! You're gonna hit him with a, a windmill kick? Ninja? Ninja kick? What are you gonna do? Two step? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, get hydrated because it's about to go down. 
great year to be a Vols fan. I've been I've been holding out for a season like this since 1998. We all have been. This is our year, man. Like, if there's ever going to be a year we beat Alabama for the first time in 16 years, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a through and through Vol fan. Like I said it on my last album. Like watching Rocky Top on TV, I ain't playing. Like I'm not a fair weather fan, and uh, it's just a good year to be a volunteer. Yes, sir. Same, my guy. Talk to you soon, buddy. Bye. Knocking him out. Shotgun and Charlie, what's up? Can you hear me? I'm Ron Burgundy. It's here. It's happening. It's real life. It's 15 songs. It's called Russell Dickerson. And uh, it's going to rock your world. You're going you're gonna to listen to it and it's going to change your life. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So my wife picked this this costume idea, and I was like, babe, nobody is gonna get this. Like, nobody. Remington, our son, is obsessed with this show on Netflix called Trash Truck. It's this little blonde kid with like gap teeth, and his best friend is a garbage truck, literally. We dressed him up just like that little kid, and he had this little scooter thing that we made look like the trash truck, and in there is a, a big black bear and a raccoon, because like, those are the animals that get in your trash. It's a brilliant show. And uh, so I dressed up as a black bear. She dressed up as a raccoon. And uh, it was, you can go look. It's on her Instagram, at Kaylee Dickerson. It's all the pictures up there. You can you can see. I mean, honestly, he's, he pulled it off great. Remington did. Thanks, guys. That's the Friday, baby. Thank you, guys. Y'all are amazing. I mean, really, it just got to the point where I was like, look, these songs, I'm not I'm not making this record for anybody else. I just wanted to tell the story of my life. I mean, from the first song, Blame It On Being Young, when I was 16, and all the dumb stuff we used to do, to the last song on the album about becoming a dad, becoming parents, is like everything in between is the story of my life. And so... That just felt like, hey, look, we've, we've had a couple albums. Russell Dickerson's here. He's here to stay. And this is album three, Russell Dickerson. Finally got a little break. <clears throat> Started at 7.50 a.m. It is 11 a.m. We've knocked out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 24, 25. 25 stations out of 26, 27, 42. 44. You know what? Honestly, honored that these people would take the time to hop on a phone call with me and talk about the album. By the time you're seeing this, it's freaking out. This is Thursday. This is the 11th hour. Album comes out in 12 hours. Let's go. Tell me what your favorite song is, though, because I love them all. Blame it on being young. Sorry. You tell me. She likes it. I remember. I wonder. Still believe in that. Beers for the summer. God gave me a girl. What? What you want? What you want? Get you some. Get you some. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Shout out to radio peeps. Shout out to my country radio peeps, though. We are going to sell oh, shit. As I'm on your video. Get me out of yeah. here. No, you're on there. No. Yeah. As I'm saying, you did it. That was a marathon. Straight up. Got the squad in here. Great day. Forgot my workout clothes off the bus. And I called down to the front desk and I was like, <clears throat> any, uh, any place to get some workout attire? And she said, yeah, Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> Who knew they sold anything but coats? I pieced together a little, uh, some boxer briefs, some Michael Kors, my bad. Some, uh, Pittsburgh Pirate shorts. 
shirt. Got some shoes. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we got working here. Who knows? If it could be fire. I mean, as I do with most of my clothes. As I do with most of my ish, you know, I gotta mod it. Yeah, I'll probably get rid of this Pittsburgh thing. Get them a little. I like my I like my shorts a little shorter, you know. God gave me some quads. I'm gonna show them. So. See what we got here. Get them scissors out. Also, I wish they would make scissors for left-handed people, dude. A little seamstressness, looking fire. Honestly, if they don't, these are like four dollars. Mark down from fifty-nine ninety-nine, guys. Burlington Coat Factory. Don't sleep on that. They sell more than coats. <laughs> oh, dude. Not bad at all, right? Outfit from Burlington Coat Factory. Probably spent more time cutting my shorts off than I did. Looks like I'm going to Sunday school and then run a track meet later. Sunday school at 9.15, track meet at 11.30. Makeshift workout. Boom, let's rage.